pretty grey and grungy day. The sunrise happened and we got about 10 seconds of slightly pinkish light in the eastern sky. And now we're left with a low overcast and hanging drizzle over the bush. But I'm not too discouraged. I, I'm here with a full frame camera and I've got my 400 f2.8 lens mounted. And I'm kind of gunning for shots of larger game. So in this case, probably hartebeest and zebra, maybe a buffalo or a wildebeest if I'm lucky, in amongst the tall grass and pink and yellow flowers that we get in mid to late summer in this part of the world. I found some zebra in amongst the flowers and uh, I thought I'd stop earlier just to show you guys where they are before trying to approach a little closer and to capture them in amongst the flowers. I did get a few shots of these zebras but they're wandering off now and unfortunately the background's a little untidy. I've got a line of trees and a rather bright, bright uh, lake in the background which uh, is trying to fool my exposure. I was shooting on AV aperture priority mode. I've switched to manual now. I tend to prefer manual, especially in this sort of even light. You can just expose for one animal and then uh, you're pretty much set. It doesn't matter where it goes. So I think I'm gonna head on and see if I can find some animals a little better placed in these beautiful conditions. The curse of the wildlife photographer, I guess. You have the conditions or you put yourself in the right place and then you have to wait for the animals to show up. The moment's gone before I realize I was out of my way We sit and talk, I see your crying eyes Turning red through the day Share my mind with no censorship Hang it all out to try I've come across another herd, small herd of zebra which is in some yellow flowers now rather than the unnatural looking pinks and I've been snapping them off and on for about an hour uh, as they've been going about their business and they're, they're used to me now. They were a little bit skittish when I first arrived but I turned my engine off and just sat and waited and eventually they settled down and got used to me. Now I came out today with a particular idea in mind for the kind of photograph that I was after. I wanted a wider view of larger animals in amongst these flowers which flower at this time of year only. Uh, so they're yellow and pink flowers amongst this green tall grass and the grass is up to the animal's chests and they're grazing in it and in order to do that I have used my 5D Mark III which is a full frame camera and a Canon 400 f2.8 which should give me a lovely wider scene with a blurred background which is a little bit unusual because most of the time when you get a distinctly blur blurred background with a telephoto it's because it's a very extreme focal length something like a 500 or 600 and uh, you get a tighter view typically of those animals so I'm going for something slightly different and I find it's often the case particularly with me that I get better results and if I don't get distracted on uh, a typical safari game drive because there's a lot to see there's birds there's all sorts of different species of animals different lights different conditions uh, but i came out here with the intention of photographing that kind of scene so i'm looking for larger antelope like eland zebra perhaps red hartebeest even springbok and i want to get them in amongst these flowers black wildebeest as, as well which is a high fault special in amongst these flowers with a wider view of these beautiful rolling hills and that soft undulating background, hopefully without any sky. So 
I think I've exhausted my opportunities with these guys. I'm going to head off to a different location now and see if I can scare up some other antelope to take a picture of. We move out in high. Do you remember? No one will deny. We were invincible heading for the sky before we started falling. Well, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now and I still haven't managed to find any animals to place in these beautiful fields of pink here at Reedley. I found some to put in the yellow flowers but none in the pink yet. So I'm going to carry on trying uh, because there's some pretty epic dark skies developing and thundery looking clouds with also bright patches of diffuse sun sunshine. The sort of conditions that I really like to photograph and that will really suit anything I can find to put in the flowers. Unfortunately, the animals seem to be few and far between. One can only try and look, you know, when the light's right, you've got to be out. You've got to be out to try and photograph. You've got to find something to put in that light. That's basically it. That's what wildlife photography is. The search for light and a subject. Waiting for the dawn One of the secrets of wildlife photography is patience and just sitting and observing an animal and waiting to understand its behaviors. So sitting and waiting is a really good way to see what an animal does and try to learn any patterns that you might identify and then just take advantage of those because what patterns do is they give you more than one chance to take a shot and even if they don't on that occasion that same pattern is probably likely to repeat itself uh, with another individual on another occasion and then you can be ready and waiting to take the photograph when the time comes and it's really important because timing is everything in wildlife photography. We don't get the chance, a second chance. There's, there's no way to set up a shot generally. And there are some ways to set up a shot. Control the lighting, you can't really do that. Control the subject, you can't really do that. The only thing we have control of is where we position ourselves, how long we wait and how good we are at reacting and using our camera. So if you can nail those things, then the chances are, if you put the time in, you're gonna end up with some good shots. It doesn't really matter that much what your equipment is. Obviously it matters to a certain extent, but not as much as a lot of people believe. It's more about observation, waiting, patience, understanding your gear, understanding the animal, and then taking your shot when the time comes. <laughs>